hard to see the guys go. But a, a few years after that group uh, was this next group. And, uh, well, what a joy these years was for Glenn and I with, with, with this particular gentleman. And let, let me say this. We didn't, Glenn and I didn't say after one member left, we didn't say we had our eye on somebody else. When one member left, we always said, well, we'll just wait and see who the Lord sends. And we'd get some telephone calls from different people. And all of a sudden, it seems like when the telephone call came from the right person or God sent the right person, it seemed like we, we knew it. That's right. And we knew it when the Lord sent this young man. Would you welcome to the stage one of the greatest tenor singers that's ever walked, Mr. Danny Thunderbird, ladies and gentlemen. Danny is incredible. And, and about that same time, R Roger has actually been with the Cathedral Quartet, but he left for a couple of years, and, and, and when, when he left for a couple of years, God sent us this young man. Now, you talk about the dynamite. You talk about somebody. There's never been, a, I don't think, a young man come along on gospel music in the short time that he's been out here and made the name that he has for himself that he's been out here. Would you welcome the little giant Gerald Wolf here? Yeah. And of course, he's been out here with several groups, but and I say this, and I say, I'm not saying anything about anybody else, but ladies and gentlemen, the very best quartet man, I'm not saying anything about it. quartet men, it don't mean you're singing, it don't mean anything that you're better than this or somebody else, the best quartet man I've ever worked with in all my 49 years, Mr. Mark Trammell. Again. Here, here, here's one we hadn't done in a while. When Gerald came with us, Gary McSpadden and Bill Gaither produced this album for us. And Gary McSpadden brought this song to us, The Plan of Salvation. Touch all the 
Long time. 